Now, the orange team is Gibbs once again, simply to coin flip being lucky for him, meaning he goes on defense first. Consulate is an interesting map to defend because on one hand it's absolutely defender side, but on the other hand, it's not that difficult for attackers to breach it either. Now in defense, Twitch was banned on offense. Blackbeard is banned. I expect quite an interesting reaction out of glue in response to this, but the ban of defenders, well, the defender is Echo. Regular intel denial keeps the defense from, you know, knowing where they are, which, I mean, is fair. Eventually, it will hit blue as well, but it's interesting because how fast it took for them to choose Blackbeard leads me to believe that it was pre-planned that they were gonna ban Blackbeard and same with Twitch it's it's interesting they really planned it out and inadvertently they cancel each other's fragging power so <clears throat> First site appears to be console office. Doc and Valkyrie cast the pulse. That makes sense. It's very interesting. Doka be on IC is quite usual. Ambi on Ash. Not sure. Ambi is kind of the sub and also the player. They, mm, Ambi and Exotic kind of switch out f from time to time. It's not really just known as a thing. It just they switch out here and there it's pretty usual blue on the capital is pretty normal and clink on the selfie has nothing out of the ordinary gibbs on the lesion the set on the dock glue on the pulse and then or on the valkyrie it's a pretty standard lineup and honestly a tad bit surprised that was blue who Attackers switched to, to habana now the first one there's to be really anything too much to be. Wall reinforced! Well, blue. I apologize, I do have the display. Bomb located on. by attackers. Would like to turn that off, I do apologize. Glue is whipping all the shots on us in the drone. Reload. Everyone is whiffing their shots Ten seconds on left. Ambi. Quite peculiar. Five seconds left before insertion. Attackers have located nothing out of the ordinary. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Attackers' Ooh, objective is to defuse a bomb. Put that down, Tad. Unfortunately, for better running. All right, now that the match is actually set up, I, there was no pre-testing really, but all right, we see that Gabe's has taken some amount of damage. Everyone is going on cams. <clears throat> I see is making sure there's no Valkyrie camera. They knew there was a Valkyrie. Kalinka holding a tight angle in admin office. On admin office. The set got one kill onto Ambi. And I see immediately traded out for Norby. Yeah, I'd say it is a slightly uneven trade, but anyway, it's a trade nonetheless. Kalinka is finally decided to drone out the admin office. Well, I see he's just on the roof watching for runouts, getting the cam. Kalinka has not spotted anyone yet, it appears, but knows it's safe enough to go into the admin office. Blue's kind of sitting by there. No, there's someone there. And who is just over there throwing down a nitro sensor? Quite peculiar. Kalinka's approaching from the hallway. He could potentially get a very, very nice angle. As Icy and Blue are both a tiny bit damaged compared to. Gibbs, who's scrolling for camera. Icy got the shot on glue. 
first second kill on team gibbs said it's the um not the last one alive that is odd said it's quite alive and gibbs is in need of a bit of a heal me up but he retreats to sight with just that watching spiral stair she looks away at the wrong time and kalinka just completely bombings her it's all up to Gibbs. What will he do in this situation? Uh, not exactly sure. He has time to play with, which is fun. He has 20 seconds. I see is only now repelling down to yellow, but they cannot do much with Ten Gibbs. To go. Attackers recovered the bomb Ready to user. clutch, but not peeking it in Five fear of left. maybe dying. And the, the first round goes to defense with Gibbs clutching it. Very well done clutch from Gibbs. Very close, very good round. Nothing much to really criticize upon. After that, it's going to be tough. I say blaming the Discord, which I'm not sure, not sure. I am not there, so I would not know myself. Ambi is deciding to switch on to Doku could be unusually, but replacing Icy's role with a buck, which nothing completely out of the ordinary, nothing completely insane, but still something to take into account. Norby is playing Maestro. Glue is playing on Castle, and this time not switching over to Pulse. An odd roll I have not seen before on glue, although I have seen the set on the bandit. But since they are going, defenders protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Since they're going, garage, it's not necessarily bad. Glue going for the reinforce. The set is also going to reinforce this army. Just put down one of his cameras. Got a bit more to go around with. Gibbs is also upstairs. Most likely up and out. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. The whole garage is not reinforced. Gibbs is coming in to Five seconds left hopefully finish up the reinforcements and Pierce the set is going. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Attackers Pierce are the set is to going the to bandit trick. They're checking out camera, trying to see where they are. Goo kind of anchoring by service, under service stairs. Like Harry Potter under the cupboard. Gibbs put down his lesion trap on the hallway, but decided not to go for it since let's cast him off. Castle off almost everything except the yellow stairs, which could be a potent entry point. The set's still watching cams, but she hears them and now sees the muck. Glue is hiding under the service stairs still, and Norby's just watching cams, pointing out that there's somebody right above Glue. Gibbs is anchoring in the cafeteria, not getting too spicy, not peeking it too much. While Blue, he's holding a very tight angle on yellow which has been straight out with icy just running in blatantly reflex out getting rid of the getting rid of the bandit chargers but it doesn't help since they do not have a hard breacher kalinka is using the g36c for i'm assuming practice now that uh now that the r4c Set gets the first kill. She's holding yellow stairs, but she sees that there was another one. Lewis taken a few shots from Kalinka, most likely, but ran across back to sight. Now getting a phone call from Ambi. The lesion mine shot out. He's already entered through the service stairs. Now there's not that much to do. Unless the Norby can 
managed to check it and Glue just sees his leader get killed right in front of the side. Kalinka tries to jump, trying to set. Pierce, it's, it's a tough situation. Norby doesn't really have much he can do about this. Attackers are activating the. A shot on the shoulder, but not yet on the head. Behind him, it's easily shot. He does not have that much time. And uh, defenders die. It appears that Discord is having a bug, quite oddly. Now that's a 1-1. One, one. The points are 1-1. One, one. Glue returns to his natural state. Norby sticking to Maestro. It appears that the defense doesn't really have it all that figured out. But it appears that everyone just decided to choose their native operators and kind of stick to it. I do apologize to both teams for the issues with Discord. Now, to set the side to switch over to Bandit from Doc, which Attackers may or may not be a big issue, simply depending on the site, but it appears that it is once again bottom floor. They did not give up on it now that they're setting up Garage much, much quicker. Bomb located um, by attackers. Dolphins kind of decided to go with a similar lineup as last time but this time they have uh, Maverick which is some hard breach yet it's still not enough to just to get go. through if anyone's watching it five seconds to insertion this set is watching for cheeky spawn peak Attackers recover the diffuser. Attackers objective is to defuse a bomb. May or may not get something going here, but It does not appear so as so most of them spawned somewhere else They're rushing quite fast and the Tachanka Does not run away unscathed completely and Kalinka ends up taking out glue Has really been working up with the G36, but it appears they're kind of rushing the site. Yeah, Icy still managed to kill the set. Hack initiated. Odd for a suppressed weapon. Now it is all up to Gibbs and Norby. Now the issue here is Norby's scam has been hacked. They can know where the defenders are. Gibbs needs to destroy his cams. Loading new magazine! They mostly know where they are, but now it's all about the execution. That's really the only issue there. Norby kills Kalinka, their main fragger, and now they're gonna have a easier time. It's not gonna be as annoying, but there may still be a few issues. Now, they've decided to Kind of breached from the hatch, Drone's but ready. you don't really have that much to do about it. I see us watching loose back and kind of staking out the archives. But Attackers have located a bomb. Does not help them actually breach. Both of them are in the small logistics office, which is another problem. I see. Heard them. And was finally able to get the camera from the maestro, but not without a few sacrifices. And somehow, Icy was able to get Gibbs without Gibbs even seeing him. Tad odd, really, but attackers are activating the diffuser. Nothing insane as Norby tries to go for the flank. 
he whiffs all of his shots and unfortunately blue gets the win. Now the difference with the first point that Gibbs won and the next two that they lost was the site. Maybe going on garage is not a good idea and we go on second floor and even so the first round was very close. It appears that they're not all in their prime, at least today, since there is usually, you see, a bit more going on. Although they do have their defense set up perfectly executed, they don't have their actual defense perfectly executed. And that is the difference, but gonna be sticking to the lineup. No, no apparent six pick, although Norby is switching to Jaeger an interesting role especially for someone who like Norby who usually plays Intel it'll be very interesting to watch attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can the set puts down a barbed wire who reinforces bathroom gives reinforces most of the usual stuff nothing completely out of the ordinary could always reinforce the meeting room wall, but it's not always that important. Although it does give you a few more options here and there. Gibbs puts a camera Ten by the front desk. He's um, probably gonna put one by the vending Five machines if I would have correctly, but he may just drop Attackers a bat. Have located a bomb. Attackers recovered the fuse. Attackers I'd assume Glue would roam in the admin office the to defuser. deny anyone from Attackers coming in, the bomb as defuser. all of the attackers, well, most of the attackers, are by the side of it. One good C4, and, well, they'd be screwed. Me. Glue watches the bottom of the barricade, but unfortunately, Kalunka's by the top. Who is left is bathroom being broken open by blue. Flunka just keeps watching an angle on Ab and making sure nobody crosses over. Getting ready to kill anyone who's just not paying attention. Throwing that through yellow, which could lead to the drone being broken, and then maybe even blue getting killed, but no glue gets taken out by blue and straight it out with Ambi. At least leaving admin office open to the attackers. Blue. Slowly peaking angles, aiming about knee level, but breaking open a bit of the Going wall live. by well, main room. With the dock. Not dock, it appears. It appears it just gives over there, seeing that it's open. Kalinka is still. Taking it slowly, surprisingly, but they're setting up to execute, although only a minute has passed. Norby, though, holding an angle by Gibbs, making sure nobody crosses, but to his left, there could be a small issue. The set, though, gets the kill on Icy, who it seems was droning out. Kalinka and Blue. Blue's on the roof. Kalinka is just there getting the tight kill on the set. It's a bit odd. I was able to do that, but it was a headshot and her head was visible. Though it didn't appear the same way, vice versa. Now they're trying to pincer them, but as long as they say, stay on the site, they shouldn't have an issue. It's Norby peaked yellow stairs for a second, but immediately stop. Holding it again. And Kalinka's taken care of. Now it's all back to Norby, but Norby lifts it, and now it's on to Gibbs. Second with flat. Gibbs clutching the round and winning it. Every time they've gone second floor, it's been very close. And every time we've gone garage, it's not been that close. 
maybe that's a sign that either they'll be doing better on offense or it could be a sign that they will be doing only good on defense and not that good but they decide to scrap garage they're going first for which Normally isn't that recommended, but if the garage just isn't working out, they don't really have that much of a choice. And it's still a better choice than having to defend both an objective downstairs and upstairs. Although that would most likely still lead to better results than the garage. Blue switching over to Maverick. Cool. Interesting lineup. The operators have switched around here and there. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Uh, um, there's pretty bomb usual by attackers. Things. Gibbs kind of. He's playing castle. Interesting. Missing first shot on the drum, but nothing that bad about it. Set. Making sure that attackers have located a bomb. That glue. Having upper control. It's, it's interesting. Ten seconds to insertion. Try and get. That's a very cheeky spot. Five which got figured left. out and leaves blue. Just kind Attackers of. Attackers have there, recovered the diffuser. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Not without consequence. Maybe gets the drone in return and. They all know that they're in front. They could just easily rush it, but it appears three of them are gonna go in through the garden's entrance to Visa. The question got banned by Battle I hope they don't have to see you again. Gibbs immediately got taken out by Kalinka. Ambi. Im wow. This is going very toughly, and Glue needs to get down there. Norby is gonna well, be s absolutely screwed. He does not have that much of a chance. With the debris in the way. That is odd. They now know where they are. They, they're very much... Uh, they're screwed. Ah, uh, the shot was a sec... It's just an inch off his face but now that you know that Norby's in the bathroom there's not much you can do and then Icy finishes it off first floor managed to work out even worse than the basement and that's that's interesting Right now, they need to get it figured out. They need to go somewhere where they have a chance. And the Pierce Cafeteria and Garage are the only real place where they do have a chance. Clink has been absolutely putting in his part with the ACOG G36C. You won't see most people doing that, but now with the removal of the ACOG on R4C, it could be something a tad bit more common. The kills on Kunk's team are more, just more in general than on defense, but they're winning by points, so it isn't anything too special. What I've noticed is the, the, the defending team, to Gibbs, they're not really they utilizing can. six pick like they could. Bomb located by a oh, absolutely. Oh, not yet. Close. Not quite. Attackers have discovered Going the location of a bomb. Taken care of. I see. I see his last drone, and is it a good one? It's a decent one. Can give a few hints here and there, but could be figured out. Blue Ten seconds left before has insertion. an interesting angle on the garage. Five seconds to go. Gibbs this time decided to. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Attackers objective is to defuse the bomb. I don't know. 
now he puts up his armor panels, one leading to cafeteria, which would block out a lot of it, but it's the round's already started. Oh, this set playing Castle not Gibbs. That is that is odd. That that is very odd, but she does have impact grenades and she can leave the area whenever she needs to. Just like right here, she puts down a grenade and she's out. But Blue is going to start putting up holes in the garage wall. Immediately reacts glue. Kalinka's just kind of fragging from the other side, but Norby's on a pulse and he just doesn't see it. Gets swooped up by Ambi immediately. With barely any resistance either. There's a master camp up there, it's down. The set is the next one to go down. It's it's looking hard for It's definitely not impossible. The suppressed rifle manages to deal so much. It's not necessarily logical, but just the way it is. I see it's now getting a phone call and Amy takes care of it already. The push was much more coordinated on the garage, so it wasn't as much of a landslide for Team Kalinka, but teams have switched. It is Team Gibbs on offense now. Most of them are splitting up and going in random spots, not even spawning together. Something that could be harmful to a team unless it is planned, which I fear may not be. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. And... And the round has been thrown graciously by Klinka. Attackers have located a bomb. Kanka still needs to complete left. the throw. Five seconds to go. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Attackers' objective is to defuse a bomb. ESL does ban him. Find me if you can, it appears you will not be putting up that much of a fight. Maybe you should read rules. And now that the jack print has gone off, he's cornered in a way. He's already planting the diffuser and... <laughs> and and be failing to comply with the rules, it's a win for Gibbs' team. Unfortunately, there are, there's a small argument, and it's rather better if I do ignore it, but... NBA 
when Kaid Kaid was banned, Ran was a throw. You see, that is where we're being glue and Gibbs are all correct. Does not matter. The shotgun is still going to Defenders be broken for a while. It's not to argue it. You have to admit that 84 damage is well uncanny for any exactly operator on defense. It's easier when it comes to you. This is appearance of the lag is a tiny bit painful. And the thing clashes a tad bit odd. Blue using mute to cover up the walls is it's a strategy. It's nothing out of the ordinary, but did not left. have any hard breach on the, on the offense. Five seconds left before insertion. Very odd. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Attackers are moving to defuse the bomb. I think this thing can do anything cheeky, but Chris doesn't manage to. Setting the welcome mat. Unless Gibbs Drone walks activated. into it once more. Maybe not peeking it. Kunka now knows that he's been spotted. Gibbs is shot from this thing. The set, the set wins that match, that gunfight. Glue has been putting in less than fragging, but much more support. And now that he's an offense, he could do more with that. He has a grenade and could be Amy's nightmare. He was cooked a tiny bit more. It appears that defense for Team Kunkka is also much, much weaker. Hand of frost mat actually works with Ambi, maybe getting another, getting two kills, maybe even able to clutch the round. That's absolutely just that's insane. With Gibbs sweeping it up. Now that the points are even, it appears that their momentum has been completely changed. Momentum has been completely changed. Team Gibbs is now playing much, much more intensely. They're going to stick with their lineup mostly. Nothing out of the ordinary, although the plays on Maestro from IC are something unordinary, yeah. Although there could be a six pick coming up from both teams, so it wouldn't be anything unusual. Both teams play mostly every operator, if you, can, if you include or overlap. Decide, decide to switch to IQ, an operator she is most familiar with. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. They're playing top four now, so maybe they'll have the same. Team Gibbs issue. Barbed wire checking out is ADS time is Attackers have discovered the location. Just checking out is SMG. Setting up. Maybe setting up some cheeky frost maps maps. I see is most likely going to roam around a meeting room alone. Camera gone. Quite anywhere could be useful. It's well set up, although there aren't nearly the amount of reinforcements that could be, especially where Ambi is. Or the bathroom, they just. they're a tad sloppier, not really. Not really as well done as it could be. There's the set, making the sure that Attackers probably going to keep some diffuser. pressure on the B windows. Got the cam. Bomb located by attackers. Ooh, the set going to the roof. Maybe get a tighter angle. 
from the skylight, but not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Gibbs is still droning out the thing over there. We're keeping a good angle, which I see immediately got rid of. Not the greatest use of utility. Nah, it's just like they're all droning out. Except Norby and Gibbs. Gibbs is catching up with the rest of the team while I'm just covering them a little bit, making sure it's not where fuse. There may be a window where he could pull off a fuse, but as long as he doesn't drop down. Going to fuse DA window, which could lead to certain repercussions. Killing so gets a kill, but takes a bunch of damage in return of it. Not the most worthy trade since Kunk just decides to heal himself up fully. Now I could go down and fuse the windows here, which could or could not lead to someone running into it. Nothing, nothing that leads to any serious damage. Now, Team Gibbs has about a minute left. Enough to do an execute. But their setup is a bit fractured. It isn't completely done. It would appear that... It would appear that it's just sloppy. Someone could be coming behind them. No, that is Norby. Kalinka's kind of just running around by the admin office. It's kind of become his favorite spot. Maybe he's holding a tight angle. 50 seconds to go. Glue is going to. 10 seconds to go. The attacker's bombed the Glue's going to run to Kalinka and most like a die because of him. An unfortunate end for Gibbs' team. Yeah, there is infinite overtime, this could go on forever, as long as they don't have second floor. Team Gibbs can have a serious advantage. Second floor appears to be the center axis, anyone who gets it wins. It's, it's like they gotta have a jail free card. But you can't go there every round, and with how Cafeteria worked out, it appears that they're not gonna, they're not gonna be as lucky or successful. Gibbs has really been sticking to the Jackal, which has been odd, and the set on the glass, also quite odd. Blue switching over to Mira instead of the Bandit. It's an interesting choice, because... Norby, he's thermite. Attackers There's no bandit. They're bombs. good. There's nothing to stop them. Ambi can reinforce it. Doesn't mean anything if he can't really do anything. Not Indian. Blue's going to reinforce and leave the middle one open. That is. That is going to be risky. How are they reinforcing the rest of it? This is interesting. Quite simply, they aren't. They used up exactly two reinforcements. Maybe hatches. Nope. They they used up exactly two rotations. They didn't get the hatches. Any amount of vertical play could absolutely destroy their team. Any any amount of vertical play. It appears that Clink is gonna probably stick around archives, come back later when he's needed, just kind of chill, maybe play Fortnite on those computers. Icy's gonna be hiding inside the garage by the aluminum bars as Yellow's is getting hit open by the set, but no actual action is going to happen. 
Dude, I haven't even taken a look at the garage. The garage was unreinforced in the center. Could be an easy pick. But. Now it appears to have noticed what's going on and. The citizen in desperate need of a. of a reset. It's going to try to do. She is going to try to do that. Get off the roof. Get that done with. <laughs> now that she's down, she just needs someone to reset her. Ambie's playing by yellow. They've got. They've got pretty pretty well done. There's not much you can say. Kalinka sweeped off glue. Glue person be not the best performance. Not not his prime performance. Kalinka's holding a few angles and this time without the capital, I'm basically car carrying them. It's not much you're doing. Nobody hasn't even decided to put down a thermite. Hasn't even been able to, able to get close. Sets so being ping. Don't know if they've got a cam or not. Attackers have dropped the bomb to I like they're just holding that angle. Not much you can do. Bomb the round appears by to be over in the favor of. The favor of Kalinka. It is. It is a tough one. It's that scary as Kalinka almost gets the ace and the last one is pinged outside. Will she deny him from being able to get Ten that ace remaining. or will Kalinka just greedily suck around there? It appears that the set gets down but nothing more happens and barely misses the ace. This is problematic. Right here, Gibbs could lose. It would put them in a tie with Team Kalinka. Or I would assume it is a tie. It could possibly be even a point ahead for Kalinka. But as I check, it should be a tie. And it would be a tough one. It would be very odd, but to Kalinka. Replicates glue. <laughs> very, very interesting. Yeah, they switch us back to the cap can and glue. And a fit of rage just decides to stick with sledge or yep, sledge it is. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. They're going first for their. They're risking it. Attackers have discovered the they're risking it for the, the biscuit. Securing the wall. They are putting up a few more reinforcements, although they're not even not finishing it off. They're, look, look, they're starting it, but they're not finishing that. On that, it was for blue to do. So that's understandable. They do have a mirror. Ambies. Five seconds remaining. In a peculiar spot, Kalinka's going for the peak Attackers with the Russian the reflex set. A bit Attackers of an uglier sight, but oh! I'm the only one who took damage from that was Kalinka. It was not a worthy trade. The set immediately responded to that. She sees his arm. Kalinka slow. Going to win through visa. Not sure if the droning is really happening as much as it can be, but maybe better to go in faster than harder. Ice in this situation. Klunka is still going for a peak thing that maybe he'll pull off something lucky, but it's not necessarily likely. Ice is playing cross instead of Ambi. Ambi's roaming in maybe about. 
even flank. Maybe even bad flank. Maybe bad flank glue. Maybe even a bad flank glue, but up here so that won't be the case. And she goes upstairs and get misses the hatch. Almost gets top control. Nobody really there to stop me, but the set falls off and. Appears to be safe, although I see it's the one holding it. As long as he uses a deep breath from the set, could be all could be all over. And, and two misses the nitro cell. This could be a round for Gibbs's team. It would be a good round for Gibbs's team. Now the thing about vertical control isn't only hatches; it's about Breaking the wooden general, being able to see through the roof, breaking just the wood doesn't have to be the hatch. There we go. Perfect. An inch off, but it's got a right idea in mind. I don't have that much time. Kalinka gets his adversary. Icy gets rid of Gibbs. Norby trades it out. Glute almost blows himself up. Very, very tense situation. Lunka's holding an angle in the bathroom. Seconds remaining. If they plant, they should have an easy Ten go at it. Remaining. They just need to plant. The, the, the match appears to, to be over. Glue clutches it! Glue clutches that round! Glue absolutely clutches it! I don't care how much I'm saying absolutely, clutches the round for Team Gibbs, giving them another chance at winning this. That is amazing! Get on you, Glue! Very, very good. Very, very good. It appears that compared to Gibbs's team, Kalinka's team is a bit less uniform. Kalinka's abs well, he's carrying a good amount with 13 kills compared to next to his with 8 and 4 assists. I mean, with math and stuff, you could assume how it works out, but Blue would be the one that or one would meme on if they would focus on it. Gibbs has really picked himself up from just a few rounds ago where he only had one kill. Glue, glue has done well. The set's been just doing well in general, but let's see what the site is and Attackers need to maybe they'll and have another bomb. chance. It is second floor. Miracles can happen. Believe in miracles. Meeting room. They haven't reinforced one from Yellow Hatch. Bomb enough. By Not even the bathroom. They haven't. They don't really reinforce much. They really don't. The only one reinforce would be blue and icy because he's mirror. But that's that's pretty much it. That there's not that much reinforcing going Ten on. To go. That's an issue. Five that seconds is left. a big issue. They start. Setting up halfway through the match, halfway Attackers through the round. They'll be in trouble. Just right now, Blue's noticing this and reinforcing it. No one even takes advantage of it. Could be a strategy, though, to reinforce it so they don't see it. Let's on a start tomorrow. One strong will brush, and they're all done. They're done for. Blue is droning out. No. Gibbs is droning out. The set is droning out. Blue, not droning out. Sticking around with Norby. The set whiffing on a camera, unfortunately, that is what I had to cut to. Got Kalinka immediately. The rounds already turned to their favor. The set Attackers needs to play that Kapita a bit more. 
the very good transition is an entrance point. Just how they switch it is good. He's looking there. And <laughs> oh, glue gets that. Oh, glue gets that. No, there's a frost mat which Moving you back. almost jumped into. Attackers dropped the diffuser. He gets icy. It appears to be in their favor unless Blue Man just to get a few shots off that are somewhat better than most of his usual shots. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Gibbs gets uh Gibbs gets a kill, yes. Glue and Gibbs absolutely just everyone they're all doing well. They could win this, they could come back, but it is overtime. Not not sure. Anything could happen. Could pull a They could pull a G2 versus Empire 2.0. Who knows? Glue really sticks that sledge and he does well with it. He thing about glue is he does well he adapts well he sees something works he does it doesn't matter if it's quirky if it's funny like the tachanka stealth chanka roaming around quietly with the chanka it works it gets a job done he does it while other people like you, me or kalinka we Since it is a six pick, it is fine. It would be normal to just go line and the phrase and six picking makes it all okay. Bomb located by attackers. A cheeky, cheeky. But it's not the same. Like me and Kalinka, we we're very uniform. If you look at a handbook, we say, hey, this is what's usually recommended. We're going to do it. I see the suppressors is very. It's strange. It, it hurts to look at, especially when it works. It sucks because suppressors to make the gun worse in almost every way except fire rate. But he makes it work. Attackers recovered the bomb. It's a bit of a painful sight. Last time they played on Garage, they've been doing pretty decently. Oops. Put in a decent Valkyrie cam spot. Remember that. By the service stairs. I see making a small rotation hole. Enough for a dwarf. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. You could crawl through that if you are absolutely that. Dropped. Attackers nice recovered yeah. the diffuser. Reloading. Is it one that I would normally use? Oh, no. no. Gibbs. We're slightly going on yellow. Blue took damage through that. Now that they're bringing Havana again. It's been working out well. Glue could potentially get something going here. Kalinka appears to hear the action coming back. Doesn't know where from. Sees the debris and starts aiming there. Hatch is open. Gods have been done. Not much you're gonna say about it. The set gets the kill on Kalinka. Glue is by the maestro using the suppressor. He gets the maestro. He gets icy. This. The momentum has changed completely. Sledge is so useful of an operator. Glue. Play Sledge. You see it's working? Play him. Me. Blue got the best of him. Ambi is playing the mirror this time. He. He got her. That's. 
That's a tough one, but now it's all up to the mirror and you know where she is, so. It's all or nothing. It's really all or nothing. Got pings going. Norby gets the kill on Ambi. Starting to hold his own a bit more. Everyone's got used to what they're doing. It works now. Amazing flick from... Amazing flick from Norby. Nothing much to say. Good, good flick. <laughs> very, very interesting, but very good flick. Not much to say. Pro flicks, pretty usual, pretty normal, especially from Norby. Overtime match point, Gibbs can win this all. Win it all. They would be carrying. Not carrying, they would be overlapping 3 1. Or. Th yeah, 3 1. They'd have three victories, while well, one for Kalinka. Although, last time I remember, it was in Kalinka's favor. I am not sure. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by... They the have top floor again this time, but... Let's see how much they reinforce it. And Gibbs usually did really well on top floor. Now that they're defense again... They can make it work. Keep, keep this one in mind. Yeah, Biggie, if we get rid of it, but... Camera sure as hell works. Cover the location of a bomb. They're getting their stuff done. Getting good holes up there. Good, good communication. Good teamwork. I don't, can't really say that much. Five seconds remaining. Can't really say that much. They reinforced half of them meeting room. Attackers' objective is to defuse a bomb. Expressing not much more, but they're they're all parading. Three of them once more in Kalinka for the admin. It's classic to take from them. Although he did not. He just, he completely, he ignored glue. He, he ignored blue. Blue is right in front of him. That was just awful from Kalinka's side. And then everyone does make mistakes. And that's understandable. This is one of the longest matches they've done. Still, still odd. Still clunk decides to push from the B windows. Takes a decent chunk of damage. Um, nothing to trade it out with AC. The set gets icy. Blue has a small hole gets to set from Ambi is low but gets glue Norby Back gets out. Kalinka it's even teams with a bit more health on the Gibbs side they have the diffuser they can do Mostly anything they want, but Ambi's Ambi's flanking from the spiral. Mode. As long as Gibbs is waits, they've got it. Gibbs is watching that door, but now he knows that they're both there from spiral, and that may or may not be something very good potentially. Here's some to his left, but Gibbs gets killed, and that's all up to Norby. Where's the ones more on to his right? Whiffs the shots. Whiff the shot. A bit painful. Needs to save that KD. He could have, he could have made it work. 
If he wouldn't have gone for that kill, he could have made it work. He could have fit behind the couch. But now there's only more overtime. It is the last overtime match point. Whoever wins this, wins it. Wins it all. And... <laughs> that is what I said earlier. <laughs> Clue... I don't know. Both were great. I may not be a G2 fan, but this is it. I don't want to be biased, but I have an odd feeling Attackers need to that locate and defuse Team bomb. Gibbs is going to win this. Maybe it's from the lineup of the class of Thatcher has been running. The set on the cap town where she's been absolutely flexing on them. Glue on the sledge that he's slowly becoming a master at. And Norby on Abana he's just been doing really, really well at. But now the reinforcements on Kitchen are not happening. The reinforcements. Uh, there is no Mira. It's been switched out of Castle, which can work. Nothing extremely wrong with that. 10 seconds uh, remaining. It's odd. Welcome back to Floyd. Setting barbed wire. Attackers have recovered it's a bit their of a switch. Ambi going to vigil, but Ambi is doing the peaks instead, and they move out of the way. He decides not to. Hold on. Good communication. Do not go there. Oh, it's in there. Just not exactly where. And we're just hiding in tellers. Clinka is coming kind of Hanging around spiral, summer room there. Blue, and I see anchoring. Blue anchoring the most. I just kind of in the bathroom. Must have ate Taco Bell. But it's silent all around. It is. This is it. This is the moment where it's all. Or it's not the ambient glue trade. That is, that is a major impact for both teams. The set caught off guard. Norby trades it out. It is all up to Gibbs and Norby. It's another situation like this, but it's against Blue and it's against Blue and Icy. They're both on, but they're not in the main lobby. Now Blue's kind of just sticking around there. Icy is going to the main lobby, but. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. That is. That is what is so insane about it. Norby is running out. There's no ICs hanging around there. Are they doing anything? Not very much. He gets icy. It is a 1v2. Norby is planting. Gibbs saw him. As soon as the plant is down. It's basically in a bag. They've got this. There's not much that could go wrong. As long as nobody peeks something unnecessarily. This is a victory for Team Gibbs. 
doing? A team Gibbs, Gibbs wins Gibbs. by an inch. Very, very well played. Good game. Very, very well played. It was a very hard fought victory. One of the toughest matches I've seen. The one that put me on the seat the most.